So fall is finally, finally here. And I have been wanting to do this video forever. This is my Trader Joe's fall favorites. And there are a couple of things in here that I haven't tried, but I picked up and wanted to share. So they aren't technically a favorite yet, but I have a good feeling I'm gonna like them. And you know what, maybe we'll try them on camera. I'm gonna start off with a no brainer that is so, so, so yummy that you have to try. It is the butternut squash mac and cheese. It does come frozen. Oh my God, it is so creamy. And I feel like the butternut squash taste is very subtle and there still is cheese in here. So this isn't vegan, but it is so yummy and it is so comforting. So this is like one of the perfect additions to eat and try this fall. It is totally worth it in my opinion. So do not sleep on this one. Oh, it's so good. Next, which I'm actually almost out of, but these are the maple leaf cookies. So they have a very subtle maple taste to it, which I really like. I can only eat two of these at a time because they are so rich and decadent. They are super creamy and thick. So they are pretty sweet. And like I said, I feel like it's really hard to eat a lot of these at once. I mean, one cookie is really big, but they make a great dessert. And I think if you are needing something really sweet, but it's gonna fill you up really quickly, this will do it. Oh, so good. So, so, so good. A classic of mine that I absolutely love are the pumpkin bread and muffin mix. So all you need is just eggs, oil, and water. I have done two live streams where I've made the pumpkin muffins. Typically, I make muffins with these. I haven't gone live on my channel in a while, so let me know down below if you want me to do another live stream where I make muffins. I've done them the past two years, so maybe I should do year three with these, but oh, so, so, so good. They um, are just so comforting, and you can definitely taste the pumpkin spice in these, and these can make a lot of muffins or bread. You can get a lot of good use out of this. I look forward to buying this every single fall because it's just that good. Another favorite of mine, which I actually got to make over the weekend, but this is the Trader Joe's pumpkin pancake and waffle mix. So you need some eggs, butter, and milk. And I like to make this with almond milk and it still tastes just as fine, but you can absolutely taste the pumpkin in these pancakes. Oh my God, they are so yummy, especially with maple syrup on top of them and even some butter or whipped cream. These are some of the best pancakes that I think Trader Joe's makes. And I look forward to purchasing these every single year. I like making pancakes on Sunday morning. I feel like just Sundays are perfect for pancakes. So I can't wait to make more of these this coming Sunday. So these are another thing that I buy every single year. The label is already ripped off, but this is the pumpkin biscotti cookie. So I love eating these with some coffee. They're perfect to dip in with coffee and they are very rich in pumpkin spice flavor. They are so good. I can only eat a couple of these at a time because again, they're really thick and crunchy, but really good snack with dessert or really good for dipping your coffee in if you need an afternoon pick-me-up. Have these with your coffee and I promise it's gonna be just so comforting. Trader Joe's has a lot of different pumpkin ales and beers and alcohol beverages. So this year I picked up the Howling Gourd Pumpkin Ale, which is made from the Joseph Brow Brewing in San Jose, California. I love the packaging of this box. So this is what the can looks like. Again, I think the decorations and the packaging on this is really cute. Definitely screams Halloween and fall to me. So this is a really good one and you can definitely taste the pumpkin in this beer. It is kind of strong, but it is such a good beer that I definitely look forward to repurchasing every year. So this is a really great one that I highly recommend that you try. This next thing is not food, but it is a candle. So this is the vanilla pumpkin scented candle. This is what it looks like. I actually already purchased one of these this year and I've already burnt it down. So I literally just got a new one but it smells so good. They also make an apple one as well. I think the apple one is a little too strong in the scent, in my opinion, but 
This one is just so light and just so comforting. So you may wanna buy a couple at Trader Joe's the next time you go because these do burn down pretty quickly. A classic one, this isn't in its original packaging. I obviously put it in a new container, but you gotta get the pumpkin pie spice from Trader Joe's. You can see how much I already have left. This actually isn't a seasonal item. You can buy this all year round, I believe, but I love putting this in my oatmeal for breakfast. And I haven't tried baking with it, but in oatmeal, chef's kiss, it is so good. So definitely pick that up in the spice aisle when you can. This is such a great coffee. So this is the pumpkin spice coffee. So it says it comes with orange peel, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, ground vanilla beans, and a pumpkin spice flavor. It is very subtle. I really like this one a lot. It mixes really well with almond milk and some whipped cream and even some pumps of your favorite syrup if you want. It comes grounded so you don't have to grind up any coffee beans but this is a great purchase that you can buy every single season i always look forward to this one because it is just that good of a coffee and way better than starbucks pumpkin spice latte in my opinion and then the last item that i have purchased in the past that obviously i repurchased this fall is the autumn harvest soup it's really the autumnal harvest soup I just say autumn harvest soup for short because it's just easier to pronounce in my opinion, but it's super creamy. So it's basically like a tomato soup with like squash in it and pumpkin. And it is so, so, so good. You can literally just put this in the microwave ready to go and it cooks really quickly. This is a must. It's so comforting on a cold rainy day. Absolutely recommend. Let's talk about some items that I picked up that I've just heard such amazing things of that I'm so excited to try. So I love bagels with breakfast. I mean, I just love bagels in general. So I wanted to pick up these pumpkin bagels. So it's made with pumpkin flour and pumpkin spice bites. So I am so excited to try these out. Let me like give them a smell really quick. Mm, it smells so good in here. I'm gonna take like a little tiny bite. Mm, the pumpkin flavor is so subtle. So these probably taste similar to plain bagel with just like a subtle hint of pumpkin spice in these. So mm, I'm so glad I picked these up. I am so excited to have these with breakfast for the next couple of days. And so with the bagel, another thing that I wanted to pick up that I've heard really good things about is this pumpkin cream cheese spread. I have never heard anything like this before. So I'm gonna open it up really quick. It's brand new. So this is what it looks like. It's an orange color. I'm gonna just slightly dip my finger into it. Oh, okay. Yep, the hype is there. I feel like the pumpkin spice makes it even creamier and cheesier in my opinion. So yes, this is worth the hype. Go get it. These two things I'm not gonna be able to try on camera right now, but these are the raviolis. So this is the honey roasted pumpkin ravioli. So that's kind of what it looks like. The squares are orange and yellow. And then this one's really popular. This is the butternut squash ravioli. I've heard really good things about these. So I'll have to get back to you on how I think of these, but I really like ravioli as long as it's vegetarian. So. I, I have a good feeling I'm gonna really like these. So I've never seen these ones before, but I wanted to try them out. So these are the mini maple flavored marshmallows. So Trader Joe's does sell vegan marshmallows, which is something that I love since I'm a vegetarian and can't have gelatin, but I'm excited to put these in hot cocoa for this fall and even winter, depending on how much I have left over. So I think that these are gonna be so fun for this coming season. These people have been raving about, and I will try one on camera. So these are the petite pumpkin spice cookies. So these are like shortbread cookies with like that yogurt coating on them. So I'm gonna try one really quick. So, oh well, here's what they look like if you can see them. Let's try this orange pumpkin. They literally taste like those frosted animal crackers, just a little bit more gingery and pumpkin spicy. Yes, absolute yes. <laughs> And this last one that I hear people rave about, the pumpkin spice JoJo's with the yogurt coating on it with some sea salt. So this is the box. They do make like a regular pumpkin JoJo's, but I've heard the one in the tall box is the one that you really got to try. So let's open it up. These are a nice size. Mm. Oh wow. This is very pumpkin spicy. Very rich with pumpkin spice. I could probably only eat at most two of these at once because these are really thick. Very sweet, but still very good. 
This definitely is very spicy in terms of the pumpkin flavor. So you'll really be able to taste the pumpkin in this for sure. Tell me, what are your favorite Trader Joe's fall items that you like to buy every year? Did I miss any of your favorites? Comment down below and let me know so I can go back to Trader Joe's and try them out. And if you liked this video, and inspired you to get shopping at Trader Joe's for their fall items, do make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And with that, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.